My goal today is to share with you what you already are and maybe frame it for you because you may know what you are, but are you able to get other people to be what they potentially can be? The key isn't being great. The key is making others great. The part I really enjoyed is when she was talking about how um, you don't have to give, you don't have to get 100% better every day. It's more about 1% each quarter of the day. You know, you just pick one quarter of the day and you say, I want to be 1% better. And if that doesn't happen, you move on to the next one. And I think that resonated with me. To be able to say, here's a language for you every single day. Super simple. Break it up each day. Break up your ideas of how you're going to get better each and every day. Just little baby chunks. I like the 33% rule that she said. Uh, you have to be that leader and that person who's going to come out there every day and say, you know, listen, like, I, you know, I'll make you feel safe. I got you. If you need help, I'll help you. Um, if you're bad mouthing the coach, I'm going to, you know, say, you know, coach loves you guys. He's going to do what he has to do to get his job done. And we have to get our job done to make his job easier. You know, so you talk highly about a bunch of people and you get the job done and you tell your guys, hey. You know, if, uh, if we all back each other up, then it'll, uh, it'll be good. So I want you to remember the rule. Bottom third, gonna suck the life out of you. Middle third, blowing the wind. And top third, grab them and get running. You'll have that 33% rule for your whole life. I think it's, it's just refreshing to, to be reminded of not only how lucky we are to be at Carolina and the Leadership Academy that we have, but it just reminds you that you have a job to do that's greater than just yourself and your own success. Being on a team here at Carolina is all about bringing everyone together and getting everyone on the same page. And the speakers we've had this entire year have just been completely awesome and really refocused the team. I think it's like pure motivation. Like when you come in here and you listen to a speaker who, who doesn't drag her feet and who doesn't, you know, lower her voice because we all know, we, we heard her today. She's the coach that you, you, know, you want on your side because it ultimately makes you excited to go back to your team and be that leader and say, hey, this is what I've learned, you know, this is what I need you guys to do to step up and, and, uh, and do all the things that you know, she resonated here today. So um, I think it's just motivation in the long run. How you engage tonight and tomorrow will be connected to the day you graduate. The, the behavior in the weight room tomorrow morning is part of your legacy. So in the end of the, at the end of the day, legacy is simply this. How I think directs how I speak that influences my behavior. My behavior over time is my character. And my character is my legacy.